Did you know that Virgil lied about his age and was actually older than you? Uh, no. So Virgil, uh, you know, it's everybody was saying like born 1962 after he passed away, you know, 1962 to 2024. And here it was revealed that he was actually born in 1951. Um, and he had uh, Virgil was born in 1951 and had lied about his age. 51. Yep. 1951. But he was telling people that he was born in 1962. So Vince believed it. Everybody believed it. And here after he passed away, um, actually a guy that I know here in Pittsburgh has uh, one of Mike's driver's licenses that I guess Mike must have given to him somewhere along the way. And it says right on it, 1951. Wow. I, wow. I never knew that. Isn't that wild? You know, and it's, you know, Virgil's, a, it's a sad story. I mean, I liked Mike. I mean, Mike was basically a good guy. You know, uh, he, um, I, I felt for the guy, um, but he did some things. Um, and I look back at that and I think some of those things he did, he may have done out of desperation. Like, uh, for example, you know, I went to a comic con that I had never been to before. And, uh, one of the guys said, Hey, Ted, he says, uh, sorry, you couldn't make it last time. And I said, what do you mean? He says, well, you know, uh, the, the last show we had here, we, you know, we, you know, Virgil was here, you know, you were advertised as well. And then he, Virgil showed up and said, it's something that come up and you just couldn't make it. And I went, what? So what Virgil was doing is that he was contacting these people and seemingly booking both of us. And I never knew about it at all. And he would show up himself and there's no me. Well, you know, he and I had a con, uh, a conference, conf, you know, and I didn't scream and holler at him. I just told him, I said, look, man, I said, you can't do that. I said, because, you know, you do that. And then I don't get booked. Yep. You know, if they, if they believe, believe what you say, and then that, they, you know, and, and they're thinking they booked me and then I don't show up. You know, and so I had to talk my way around a few a few times like that, and I was mad at him. But you know, it's kind of like hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, later, I got to thinking about it, and then when I when I now I would uh, um, I, I told I, what I told him was I said I can't afford like to. I can't afford personally to fly you anywhere and put you up in a hotel. But if, if, if they can do it or if, or if, or if, if the show is close enough to Pittsburgh that you can drive and drive back, I said, great. I said, then I will have them advertise us appearing together. Uh, but there were some shows that, that, that he just showed up on, on his own and that was okay. And when he did, and I didn't know he was going to be there. I would, I would say, come on, bring your table over here next to mine and uh, we'll do this thing together, you know, and I could, I could help him that way. But uh, I, I you know, hate to say it, but there were just times when he would lie when it was easier to tell the truth. Mm. Man, got a, got a feel for Virgil. You know, it's like you go from being on television and action figures being made of you. You're in magazines, stuff like that. To all of a sudden now it's like you're in a position where, you know, you can't get booked and you've got to show up. You're on your own with a table of your own and try to try to make a, a couple extra bucks. So, man, like I, I, I see online where a lot of fans try to kind of make a joke of it and stuff. But the reality is like, you know, this is a human being. I know it's like they're over the top cartoon characters, but this is a person trying to make a living. So. Man, God bless Bert Virgil. Sad that he's gone. But, you know, it's under yeah. I've seen a lot of people online ask about like, you know, well, I, I know that Ted and Virgil had an issue. Like, why? Why did they have an issue? And there's kind of your answer, guys. Uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's not always easy and it's not always black and white. And life doesn't always turn out the way you want it yeah. to. Right. Yeah, man. I'll tell you what, if if ever we need to look at the Bash and Booger picture again, it's right now. <laughs> so there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a good way to wrap up the show. Um, man, Ted. I'll take, I'll take my man Virgil over Bastion Bugger any day. 